Hi guys, welcome to GoFries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your graphics card to perform more efficiently in folding at home. So, how many of you are already in folding at home right now, doing crunching all these numbers? Leave your comments down below. I'd like to know your username and your team to see how you guys are getting on with the projects. Now, um, let's, let me start now. First off, I'm going to start with the AMD cards as this, this is the one I'm using, which is the RX 5700 XT. Now let's have a look at the screen. This is my folding number, which is at PPD at about 1.1 million. And with the AMD cards, your advantage is that the AMD driver, the software, which is AMD Adrenaline, already has the interface for you to fine tune. So what you need to do is head over to performance, go to tuning, click manual, and you have all these things. So what I did for mine was I reduced the maximum frequency by 5%. I haven't touched the VRAM tuning and I lowered the power tuning, the power limit by 10%. And with that, the system actually runs cooler. It was at about 185 to 200 watts range. Now it hovers around 145 to 160, 166. Occasionally you see that it goes to 170-ish, but usually it hovers around 160. So with that lower power draw, I can now lower the fan speed, make it more silent. So that's an advantage for me over here, especially I'm in a warm country of Malaysia. So as for those of you who are using Nvidia cards, you can run MSI's Afterburner. So in Afterburner, there's the same thing. You can reduce your power limit. And you can see it's minus 10% because it's reading the exact same thing from what I set in my Adrenaline software. So minus 10, you can actually change the clock speed and you can adjust the fan accordingly, which is, um, yeah, this is how much you, you, how you can tune your thing. It works the same way. And I recommend MSF for NVIDIA cards. AMD cards, you can just stick to adrenaline. After that, um, basically lower your power. After that, you can fine tune the memory and the core, core clock. I don't lower my core clock because I want it to run cooler, but you can lower power, power target and increase core clock as well. And again, every card behaves, um, has its own behavior and limitation. I'm using a Navi, which is the RX 5700 XT. Your mileage will be different depending on what range of cards. NVIDIA, are you using 16, uh, GTX 1650 or are you using an RTX 2080 Ti? So it all depends on what you have in your system, how's the cooling, or even the grade of your, your GPU. Some are, uh, some are what, grade C, some are grade A. The GPU is not the same across the, the brand. Some are of a higher bin, so they are priced higher. So that's pretty, pretty much for this video. Simple one, what software you have, those are the software that you can use to optimize your folding equipment to be more efficient. Draw less power, generate lesser heat while producing same or better amount of PPD, meaning that the speed. Um, or in some cases, I'm willing to deal with a little bit slower performance, but to have much reduction in, in the heat generated and the power drawn. All right, so that's it for this video. Do leave your... your the, I'd like to know whether you have already done this kind of optimization for your folding at home setup. Leave your um, details down below and perhaps others could also learn from your settings. Mine is just, I make it easy. I, I, the, the work units are, how to say, it's not often, it's distributed once in a while and I don't want to screw it up by overclocking it wrongly. It could just spoil it, that, that, that um, processing. But hey, if you have done it, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.